Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So today onwards, we are going to start with the GraphQL uh, REST Assured project. We are trying to automate with the help of REST Assured. Yes, we can do that with the help of REST Assured. We can automate GraphQL. We can send the request. We can get the response and we can validate that. So we can take one API. First of all, that is Hasura.io, this API. You can simply create a query and you can send a request. These are the two uh, headers that we have to pass. Along with that, we have uh, this... Uh, uh, swap API also which is for uh, the Star Wars APIs you simple how many Star Wars movies are available hit this uh, query and then you will get the response and we will uh, try to validate the response with the JSON path or something like that so these two queries or any of the practice query that you want to take it you can take it so before that we have to create a Maven project <clears throat> so open your Eclipse make sure Eclipse is available in your system and uh, simple create a project over here and you have to collect a maven project so let's create a maven project here click on next click on next and give a proper project name before that you have to give a, a filter over here if it is asking you so simple write maven hyphen archetype quick start do that so select this one or apache maven archetype and then version could be anything click on next and then let's see i'm giving that um, some different name okay graphql test framework we can say that and the same artifact id i'm using it and click on finish so here you will see graphql test framework got added under src main java under src test java this is a dummy pro uh, package got created so simple you delete them i don't need them and delete this particular package also under src test java then you open your pom.xml file directly from here and in the properties the maven compiler i'll be using 1.8 and uh, source and target I'll be using 1.8 J unit dependency is already there so let it be like that if you want to use this just let it be I want to add the test change dependency so I can use this test change dependency from here you can search for the test change dependency online and uh, simple save it after that I want to add a rest assured dependency also so you simple go to rest assured uh, go to maven and then I'll share the link and everything with you guys don't worry about that copy this particular rest assured dependency and uh, simple paste it over here as well and uh, so far that's all later on Jackson and all such things we can do it later now after that just close this particular XML file go to your SRC test Java right click on it and let's create a new package here and the package name I'm simple writing com dot uh, graphql dot let's see test package that I'm going to create under this particular test package right click on it and let's create a new class and let's see, I'm going to create a class that is, uh, I simply say GraphQL uh, query test. This is my class name. Don't select the main method because we are going to use testng over here like that. So you can see GraphQL query test got created. And then you have to do two manual imports, two static imports, you have to do that. So just copy these two uh, static imports because we are going to use rest assured and then we are going to use uh, hamcrest matches also for the uh, validations point of view for the uh, assertions point of view after that what we have to do let's write a first test over here at the rate test and let's see my test name is public void get all films test i'm going to write this is my test method name this at the rate test you can import from testng so let me import it from uh, uh, from the testng over here like this and then see this carefully that what is the API that we have this is the query and this is a URL that we are going to use that for this API we don't need to authenticate the server we just simple directly use this particular URL and then with this query but this is the web URL we want API endpoint URL so what exactly we have to do just simple right click on it and then go to inspect in your Chrome Dev Tools, you go to network and hit the query over here and you can see one row will be created here this index one entry got created and this is your request URL so this is the URL that right, you have to use it so copy this entire uh, URL and we have to use this URL over here in my script fine now what you have to do is that uh, first you have to write rest assured dot base URI so what is your base URI base URI is equal to the base URL so for example from here to here right this is the main domain URI just use it over here and put a semicolon after that you have to create a query so I simply write a query over here 
what exactly the request query that you want to send or okay or let's see what exactly the a post body that you want to send so let's say i'm creating a string body so this is the query see if you see this this is a query in this particular editor but when you use it in rest assured with java along with this we have to pass some query variable but right now let's see we don't have any query variable it means my query variables are null in that case so you have to combine both the things together so first of all this is not json this is a query and this query variables will be in json if it is not available then you have to still you have to pass a json valid json over here that value will be null so that how you get it so this is simple over here in the request url simple over here in this network tab go to request payload see this is my payload you simply go to view source and then copy this entire source from here and then you simply do one thing under these two brackets these two double quotes paste it over here like that now you can see that okay don't change anything put a semicolon at the end it will automatically write some uh, backslash and means for the new line and this is the query the exact query that i'm using it over here you can match it like this so my query is all films films and give me all the titles so same thing we are doing it over here all films films give me the title and do you have any variables no we don't have any variable so this is null now fine okay this is i know slightly weird but this is what we have to pass later on we can uh, customize it we can read it maybe from the uh, payload or something maybe we can uh, read it from the dto's also or maybe poso also we can create it later on now i'll be using the bdd rest assured approach so i simply start with given if you know a uh, rest assured already it's a very simple given dot if you really want to generate some logs so i simply say okay fine given dot log dot all then i want to pass that okay you have any content type yes i have my content type as what application json so i simply say application as json and then other than that do you have any content or any any header no i simply directly pass the body what is the body the body is what this body variable that you have already prepared this is my body or you can simply say better instead of body you simply write query so this is my query as a payload that i'm going to pass and then what do you want i simply use when okay again you log so this is a very good method dot log dot all method means whatever is happening with the when method or when you send the request to the server give me the response properly on the console so this will give you a lot of good response logs and everything on the console and then what do you want after that it's a post call right so post call means whatever the respective uri which is there so this is my see up to dot app we have already written after that we have to pick the remaining part right so this is yours let's see whatever the service url that you have you just pick it like that and after that it will hit the server so if you mouse over the post will give you a response whatever the json response that we are capturing it so what exactly after that i want i want to put a then over here it means after that what do you want so i simply say after then i want to first of all do the logging for all the logging purpose for all the steps and then do what after that i want to assert something so in the same step you can write it assert what do you want to assert so in the next line i simply say assert dot i want to check what is the status code so a status code i'm expecting 200 so immediately you don't need to write any assert dot assert equals and all such things this is a complete bdd format guys that we are using it so when then post in the proper chaining request you can create it a status code like that and along with the status code what exactly so let's see till here i just want to check my status code is there or not 100 200 is there or not so simple this is a complete test we have written along with the assertion so you simply write assert that over here this is coming from actually from the rest assured library only so i'm going to run this let's see it is working or not so let's run as a test ng and uh, let's see are we getting the correct response or not awesome the test got passed you can see test got passed over here and see it's super fast this is the response that we captured right from the from the body from the response and uh, this is the request url that we are using it we are not using any proxy we are not using any request parameters or any other query parameter this is a response a request body that we are using as a payload this is my query where we are not passing any variable also and then it will hit the query we are getting 200 okay here and this is the response we are getting it perfect now in the response let's see i want to validate the title is a new hope is there or not i want to validate that fine so how will you validate so let's see along with the status code i remove the semicolon 
I want to validate something else. So simple write, I want to validate and with dot here. Okay, dot and what else you want to validate? I want to validate, for example, dot from the body, whatever the body that you have captured, see this carefully, whatever the JSON you are getting it, see, the JSON is data. So it means go to the first level. So this is your JSON path data. Then you go to all films from the data. This is my child data dot all files and all files to films over here. So simple, right? Films. Now films is not a normal JSON object. This is JSON array actually. So what should I do? It means go to the zeroth value. Zeroth value means the first value here, over here. This value. This is zeroth value. This is first value. This is second value like that because we are getting complete array over here. Array of uh, for the films array, we are getting it. And then from there, from film zero, what do you exactly you want? I want to get the title. So what is the title? The title is a new hope and that I want to validate with my matcher over here. So with the matcher, what you have to write? See, we have already used this particular import matcher. So what we have to do, simple write equal to, there is method equal to method, equal to what? It should be equal to this. So this guy is the actual title. We will be getting it from the JSON response and we are expecting with new hope over here. If it is matched, your test case got passed. Along with that, we are checking the status code as well. So let's run it and let's see it is working or not. So hit the query through the rest assured once again. And uh, let's see the test is getting passed. Yes, test is getting passed. Absolutely working fine over here. My first zeroth element is new hope here. Simple like this, you can do that. Now let's write with the authentication token also. So I'll do one thing. I'll simply create one more test over here at the rate second test annotation. I simply say public void. Uh, let's see, get all users. And this time I'll be calling a different API. So I'll do one thing. This is my uh, rest assured dot base URI. I'll be using it. And this time I'll be using this guy. Okay. So let's uh, copy this entire URL from here to here. This is my base URI, URI. So copy from here to here and paste it here. Fine. And after that, what is your query? So I quickly create my string uh, query, which is equal to how will you get the query? So I'll be getting the query. I'll be hitting this and uh, from the Chrome dev tools, I'll get the exact query string. So go to the network tab and hit this query. And uh, from this simple, go to GraphQL and uh, simple scroll it down at the bottom click on view source and copy this entire query and then simple go back to your eclipse and paste it here fine so this is your query that we have uh, created here and after that the request and everything will remain same but here the slightly change is that i simple write given okay so given dot log dot all i want to generate some logs also while sending the given and then I'll be using dot content type, put some space so that you will be clearly readable like that. See, it's a chaining method that we are using it after that. Uh, so application JSON, do you have any other header? Yes, I have one header. So let's see as a header, I'm using simple. Let's see what is your header name and the, and the value. So for example, what is the name of the header? The name of the header is this is header. Actually, the name of the header is this. Uh, let me just close this. The header we are passing as authorization content type. We have already taken over here like this content type is equal to application JSON. My header is uh, authorization and what is the value? So you have to generate your bearer token. As I already told you, when you log in, it will give you your own bearer token here. Copy this along with the bearer keyword and then you simply paste it here. So this is a huge uh, token that got generated later on. If you really want to pass the token from some configuration or something like this, that we can do it later. So once the header is created after that, what do you want after that dot a body? And I simply say that, okay, yeah, as a body, what exactly you want to use as a body, my query. So what is my query? Uh, so body, and then first I'll just parse a when, and then this is the post call. Okay. Along with the post call, see the post method is actually overloaded. So see post URL, I'll be using it. And what is the the left URL, the left service URL is this. So I'll be using this service URL because in the main URI, we have written only up to dot IO. So I'll be using this one here. And when you send this post request, you will get a response. So from the response, what do you want? 
So let's see from the response. Uh, I simply say that dot uh, then I want to validate something a dot and assert that uh, what exactly you want to assert I want to assert that the status code first of all should be 200 and then I want to validate that from the body whatever the body that you are getting it <coughs> what is your adjacent path so let's see this is the body that we have captured here so first you go to data data to users over here right so data and users is an array you can see square bracket so data users so I simply say that uh, here data dot users is my array it means go to the zeroth element over here go to the first value and then from there you capture the name so what exactly we're capturing let's see the name is tui dot glen over here twig dot glen this should be the first user the name that we are capturing it and then it should be equal to what so I simply write equal to matcher to validate and that's it so likewise you can validate a couple of things if you really want to validate again you can write dot body and then dot id also you can write it and then check the id also so later on i'll tell you some more assertion tricks but let's write the test case and it's working or not so let's see get all users this is my get all users test actually let's run this is it working or not so limit 10 we are passing it means uh, only 10 results we should be able to get it on the console see it's very fast and the test is absolutely fine and you can see that this is my query that we were passing but it's not printing the response why because we are not printing the log here see here it means after then you if you really want to print a log that also you can do that in fact when also you simply write dot log dot all so you will get a really good pretty print on the console dot log dot all it's always a good practice to print the log so that you will get to know what kind of request and the response we are getting from the server so let's run it again and this time see this awesome console we are getting it the complete uh, 10 users we are getting and see the logs on the console this is your uh, main url the request uri this is your authentication token content type is application json and this is the actual request payload body that is your query and we are getting 200 okay along with that we are getting some response headers also if you really want to validate you can validate your response headers as well and this is a complete json body that we are getting it and then finally we are asserting and test case got passed super super simple super simple to automate your graphql apis and right click on it and let's run the entire class now and let's see within a second we will get the result over here see the first query second query and then done two test cases got passed get all friends test and get all users test so that's all for today we have talked about the graphql query test with the uh, with the query examples later on we will talk about more and more complex query we will try to pass it we will try to parameterize we will try to create some bozo object and then we will see mutations and the subscription also later on okay so that's all for today i hope you like it i'll do one thing i'll just prepare one git repository for this entire code i'll push it over there and share the git repository url in the description or in the first comment please go and practice accordingly let me know if you have any issues till then take care and please subscribe to the channel guys if you're learning to the channel so 